on December 31st of this year, I was at my house until like 10 p.m. It was like pouring rain that night and it was cold rain too so it's like I didn't want to go out until I had to um, and the plans that I had didn't really begin until like 11.30 right before midnight so I was pretty much at home all December 31st, um, New Year's Eve and that was a night of realizing things for me and it was a really big night in my life. People ridicule for like sitting in your bed for like four hours but those four hours before I left my house on December 31st was probably one of the more enlightening four hours of my life. I, I learned a lot of things and that night I created my very first vision board. A vision board is something where you, you print photos out or you cut out pictures from a magazine and put it on a board, your goals, that makes it real and that makes it a goal something that you can grasp that you need to do. This video is really based around my new lifestyle sort of leading into minimalism and how I grasp minimalism, but I also want it to be about uh, my vision board and what I put on my vision board. And I watched a beautiful, beautiful documentary called Minimalism and it changed my life. The very next day, January 1st, I completely wiped out my room and you'll see this. So I'll let you guys watch that and then I'll come back at the end and sort of give more thoughts on it. December 31st, I watched one documentary and then loads of documentaries and then did a lot of reading. That night I experienced a different sense of awareness within myself. I moved from a feeling of comfort to a feeling of uncontentment. Some things needed to change. As soon as I shut my computer, I asked myself what brings value to my life. Experience, I almost answered immediately. I knew from a young age I'd always preferred moments over items. So then I pinpointed the things I wanted this year on my vision board. I wanted to learn chemistry, listen more and talk less, film more disconnect. I deleted my Twitter and Snapchat already. I wanted to be a strong woman, earn all A's this year and hopefully all years in college, travel and explore more, educate myself further on sustainable fashion, continually grow ethically, and to have less and be more through minimalism. And so that's where I started. My room had become a place where I slept. It was not a place that I dreamt, a place where I valued what I had, or a place that depicted the person I am now or the person I want to be in the future. It was nothing like me. The very next day, January 1st, I got rid of and donated around three-fourths of my clothing, random belongings, and makeup. For every item I decided to keep and hung in my closet, I took an item out. I asked myself when I looked at an item, if I saw this in the store today, would I buy it? If I said no, I gave it up. If I said I don't know, I gave it up. I only kept the yeses. Do we need this stuff, Maddie? No, we don't. I kept only the items I used regularly, brought me happiness, or brought value to my life. I kept my computer, and though I was overly content with the huge new gap in my closet, I couldn't get myself to get rid of almost any of my sweatshirts and hoodies, considering I wear all of them on a near daily basis. I kept all my socks because my feet are always cold. I kept all my art on my walls because it truly does represent the person I am and brings me happiness. I kept these flowers Ryan got me, I kept some makeup, this photo, this Buddha, as well as this Buddha and my records and record player, some disposable pictures, this book I really, really love about how doctors think, and a dumb ACT book I thought I'd give to a junior in need, a box of camera supplies, a book I need to return to my English teacher, and my school yearbook. I kept my calculus notebook from last semester so I can study it before the AP exam, and more study materials for this year's exams. And you can't forget my listen to your heart candle. Taking the items I didn't truly need over to Goodwill was a very liberating moment for me. Packing all those items I'd had for so long onto a cart, sending it on its journey to a new owner, triggered a newness within me. Minimalism to me is not a game to see how little you can own. It is looking at the things you have in your life and determining what brings meaning to you from those items. 
Since December 31st of 2016, I have felt myself living more simply and more beautifully. I am on the road to teaching myself how to live less and be more. So I know that was pretty short, but it sort of gave a little bit of a spiel of my new lifestyle regarding minimalism and how I'm going to have less but be more. There's such a huge problem with the, the makeup industries and the fashion industries and the food industry, oh my gosh. It's just the whole world is so messed up and it's like one person may feel like they're not making a difference but you are in charge of manifesting the things that you want in your life and if you want the earth to be a better place then you do that. You do everything you can to make that happen and manifest that into your life. Hopefully you guys like this video. Really this would have gone up like January 2nd, but I didn't know how I wanted to create this video. So I hope that this was the right way to do it, but um, I really, really am thankful for all of you guys and I'll talk to you very soon in my next video. Bye.